Hi guys, it is Taylor here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make light switch covers. <laughs> Draw a blank there. Um, they are so fun. Here's an outlet that I made. They're so fun and so easy to do. And you guys can make them for Christmas presents, birthday presents, family members for yourself. So fun. Um, if we can get this video to five thumbs up, Mackenzie and I will do a paint fight and throw paint on each other for you guys. Why do I keep dropping my camera? I don't know. The world may never know. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get on with this video. Bye! So what you will need for this is a salad spinner, which mine is covered in paint. Oops. <laughs> a light switch cover. Um, you can get a single double, um, a um, outlet, triple. Why is my camera moving? Oh my god. Stay. Um, as well as paint. I'm doing one for my friend. So she wants um, blue and magenta. So those are my two colors, but you can use a lot of colors. It does not matter. And you're probably also going to want something to hold yours. I have a shoebox top under mine because, as you can see, all the paint comes out. So it might also be smart to just do outside. But, you know, I'm not a smart person, so. Yes. So how we are going to do this is I'm going to try and do this. Okay. So... I'm going to want to take this off. Mine's full of paint. So, now can you see me put in there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put you on top of the glitter. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Right there works for right now. Not really, but okay. Okay. So now that you see this, I've got my light switch cover and the nails. And I'm just going to take my nail, pop it through the top, just drop it in there. Good job. So I'm just popping mine into here. And you don't have to use two. You can if you want it to be full colored. I am because with the single ones, it usually flies up. And then you don't get a good effect. So you just got to pop them into the lines below. And then, okay, we're just going to go with a single one because I'm screwing this up already. Okay, so why I keep dropping that? Okay, <laughs> oh, that was bad. Okay, so what we're going to do first is now that I've got the one in here, I'm going to try... Get the other one in here. So then, what you got to do, I'm going to try and tilt it for you. So you're going to take your first color, and there's no right or wrong way to do this. So I just go, come on, and I, all over. And then I'm going to take my turquoise, and you get better results if you go in lines that I'm not doing and yes and then from there if you could see it I have it put on there and then we're gonna put the lid on and we're going to mix it you should only have to do it for about 30 seconds And then let it stop, and that's not the design I want. So I'm going to keep going with this, and I'm going to try to get a better design effect. Because this is a gift for my aunt, for her bathroom, and so I'm trying to get the effect I want. So just keep going until you have the desired amount of paint that you'd like. 
actually you you can add black and white and it turns out really cool but I'm not adding black and white to hers when you spin too fast you will hear this and that can also be about the wall that's not good <laughs> that was not good but it actually didn't do anything which makes me mad but you know so I'm just going to do that and then over the top I'm just gonna do this a little bit. Just a little bit. And we're gonna spin some more. I'm pleased with it and I think she will like it. And so now we let it dry for a good 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. And then we will spray it. And if you don't want to spray it, you don't have to. But for the maximum effect, you should spray it. 